We are 25 days away from the midterm elections, which means debate season is in full swing. Leads to plenty of standout moments like, for instance, these. I think we all know guys like this. You know, guys that think they know better than everyone about everything. You know, you think you know better than women and doctors about abortion. You even think you know better than seniors about Social Security. And you think you know better than veterans about how to win a war. I have been a pain in the rear end to Nancy Pelosi. And if Chuck Schumer is the leader, of the time. I will be a pain in the rear end to him, too. I'm for Ohio. I don't kiss anyone's ass like him. Ohio needs an ass kicker, not an ass kisser. The FBI set me up with a corrupt, with a corrupt briefing and then leaked that to smear me. I am... No, I mean, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I mean, all right. He is referring to corruption with the FBI, which I've been trying to uncover and expose. All right. All right. So do we have time for... Please, audience, please. We're trying to get through these. <laughs> now, as a rule, it is not great when the audience starts just audibly laughing at you during a televised debate. I will talk, in fact, to Republican Senator Ron Johnson's opponent, Mandela Barnes, about that moment and more later in the show. But I think you could say the country's most closely watched race at this point is, is likely the one in Georgia. The Republican candidate there, of course, Trump endorsed Herschel Walker, a guy with no political experience whatsoever to speak of. He's never been debated before in his life because he skipped the Republican primary debates earlier this year with his opponents going so far as to debate an empty podium in his absence. Walkers are also currently embroiled in one of the most uh, colorful and acute scandals in modern political history. After very credible accusations emerged that Walker, who is running on an extreme anti-abortion platform, making it illegal across the country, paid for a woman's abortion, tried to pressure her into a second one. Walker has denied those allegations, calling them a lie, despite significant evidence supporting their veracity. But tonight, he had to defend himself and his pattern of dishonesty during the first and possibly only debate of his political career. Just last hour, Senator Warnock, Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker faced off. While the polls show a very narrow race, Walker entered tonight's debate at something of a disadvantage, coming off a very difficult few weeks for his campaign since his campaign, since this reporting broke in The Daily Beast, about the abortion that he allegedly pressured a woman to get. Now, the debate in the nor Senator Warnock really pressed Walker on that abortion allegation in any meaningful way, but Walker nevertheless emphasized his own hardline anti-abortion position. God gave us a choice, but also within the Bible, if you read the Bible more, God said, choose life. In the Bible, it says, I give you a choice. Just like Adam and Eve had a choice, but they chose death. Very and quick, God said, you Very choose. Quick. Mr. Walker, we need I, to move I, forward. I think he wants to arrogate to politicians <laughs> more power than God has. Warnock did challenge Walker's pattern of lying about, well, practically everything, including Walker's repeated weird lies about working with law enforcement. He talks about... The police, that I have more sheriff that has endorsed me than anyone running in, in, in Georgia right now. And I even have some sheriffs here, and they've endorsed me because they know I have their back, they're going to have my back. So to listen to him say that after calling them name, I think it's a disgrace. Mr. Walker, thank you. I have a follow-up now for both of you. I, 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 think, I think I ought to be able to respond to that. I will give you the opportunity, 15 seconds, well, to we, respond we, to Senator we, Warnock. We will see time and time again tonight, as we've already seen that my opponent has a problem with the truth. I, I, and, and just because he said something doesn't mean it's true. I have supported our police officers. I've called them and I've prayed with their families, like those officers lost in Cobb County, when they were killed, doing what police officers routinely do. You can support police officers, as I've done, through the COPS program, through the Invest to Protect program, while at the same time holding police officers, like all professions, accountable. One thing I have not done, I've never pretended to be a police officer, <laughs> and, and, and I've, never, I've never threatened a shootout with the police. Well, and now I have to respond to that. We are, we are, we are no, moving no, no, on, no. gentlemen. I have to respond to that. And you know what's so funny? I am with many police officers, and at the same time, 
Mr. Walker, Mr. Walker, no, 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 Mr. Walker, no, no, no. Mr. Walker, Mr. Walker excuse me, Mr. Walker, please, out of respect, truth, I, I, I need here. to let you know, Mr. Yes. Walker, you are very well yes. aware of the rules tonight. Yes. And you have a prop. Yes. That is not allowed, sir. Yes. I ask you to put that prop away. Well, it's not a prop. It, it, this is real. And he said, I but, have a prop. I never worked with law enforcement. It is considered a prop, Mr. Mr. Walker. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Yes. You're very well aware of the rules. Aren't you? Well, Aren't he, you aware of the he rules? brought up the truth. We're, Let's talk about the truth. Th thank you for putting that yes. prop away. And as a matter of fact, we still have a lot to get to. And we are not going to continue this. <laughs> I read about this moment. I wasn't watching live. I was doing the show, and I thought it was a joke. But no, that that moment, it's giving naked gun. In many ways, that moment with the prop police badge was emblematic of Walker's entire campaign, attempt to distract from his lengthy pattern of dishonesty, self-evident and obvious lack of qualification for the job at hand. 